Everyone get their green on. Tomorrow is the day the Lima Irish Parade is back. And joining us today, Kelly Stalley to tell us all the details. So thanks for coming. Well, thanks for having me. It's kind of a big celebration because you had to take a hiatus because of the pandemic, right? We did. You know, I think back two years ago when we got word that we had to cancel the parade, um, it was devastating to our community because people really look forward to the Irish Day Parade. Yeah. You know, it's this would have been our 30th year, but it's actually our 28th because we've lost two years. But, you know, it's it's been something that people look forward to. They and it's kind of like the kickoff to spring, and we always like to have good weather. But even sometimes if sometimes that you know, luck is not with you. That's that. right. <laughs> but you know what? It still brings people out, and they just bundle up. They stand on the side of the road on Main Street, and mm -hmm. you know, it's just a, a fun day for everybody. Why do you think it is so important to the community? Is it because spring and, and it's a fun holiday? Or, I mean, because as you mentioned, it is important to people. It really is. And, you know, um, we have a really strong Irish heritage here, especially in the North End. And, it, you know, it, it's many, many generations. And this parade kind of brought that um, celebration of the Irish heritage back 30 years ago. And it was started by a group of guys that... I think jokingly they, you know, they were like, let's let's have a parade. And <laughs> I think a couple of years before the actual parade, they have their own parade. But you know, it started with the older generation, and it's amazing the younger generation that has That's like nice. just picked up and and continued it on. So I think it is. I think it's just time. Springtime's here, and people just are ready to get outside, and and it's a great way to kick off uh, St. Patrick's Day, which is Thursday. Right. Exactly. All right. So have a grand marshal every year. So who's this year's grand marshal? Actually, this year is Bobby Mulcahy. Um, Bobby was a longtime volunteer for the parade. He he did the lineup on the street, and which is a huge job. And uh, we elected him actually two years ago. So he's been a grand marshal for almost three <laughs> years. But um, you know, he's he's taken a lot of pride in it because he does take pride in his I Irish heritage. And and like I said, he's been a part of the parade for years. So we wanted to honor him and and make him the grand marshal. Mm -hmm. And you do have backing from the community. I mean, it, the parade's pretty big already, right? I mean, you've got a nice lineup, and if people want to join in at the last minute, they can tomorrow? They sure can. You know, um, weather usually depends on if we have some <laughs> stragglers that join in at the end, but we do. If people show up, we, you know, we put them in, we'll fill them in in the parade route. Um, you know, it takes a, a lot to put a parade on, and, and Darby Burke and Kim Finn are the actual chair people of the parade. And they uh, they spend countless hours and have meetings and you know it's it's not just showing up the day of the parade and marching down Main Street. You have a lot of um, you know legalities and we work great with the city. They've been supporting us for 30 years. Um, the police department. They you know Chief Catlett was actually one of the original oh, founders yeah. of the parade. So we've had great support from the community and the city and uh, we look forward to a great day tomorrow yeah exactly it's, as you mentioned it's gonna be cold just bundle up and I, I think people understand that they can wear layers and bundle up and just enjoy because that parade you guys have some good floats in that parade I mean it's families and organizations I mean it's just a unique partnership with everything it together. really is you know we have families that have have been in it from the beginning um, some families go all out and make big floats and some families put a a car or a van in and that's fine and that's what we try to encourage people you know so if you're not in the parade this year and you're like maybe next year we should be in it there's no requirements you can just put a you know put a sign on your car or have walk kids you know uh, we have a big family and we've been in the parade since the beginning and we take a lot of pride in it. It's like our family reunion. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have people that come from all over the country actually for the parade weekend and uh, and some families, you know, they, they may not be as big, but we still encourage people to be a part of the parade. It's mm -hmm. it's a great it's a great day, and it's great for our community, and it's it's great for the Irish. It certainly is. All right, so it starts at noon, right? Noon tomorrow at St. Gerard, corner of Robin, Maine, is is, is where it starts, and we'll travel travel down to Town Square. All right, exciting stuff. It's back. Thanks, Kelly, for joining us Thanks, today. Thanks, Holly. All right, don't go away. Noon edition continues in a moment. Hi, I'm Attorney Doug Mann. 